Just all right. Budgeting. A budget is a plan on how you're going to spend your money. Generally, successful people have budgets because they know their limits and they don't overspend. So a budget is you know how much money you're going to make, especially if your salary, you know how much money you are going to bring in that month. And then you sit down and you say, okay, well, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. In order to plan a budget, you have an income. Income is incoming money. Income is money into your account. It's how much money you make. Your budget should never be more than your income. That's bad. That's how people go into crazy amounts of debt. Do not spend more than you make. Now, another way to be a successful human being is to have planned savings. Planned savings. These are things like, I did not grow up this way because we did not have money, but planned savings. When your parents save for college for you, if, like right now, my husband and I, we have retirement money that we set aside every month so that in far future we can live at home and not have to worry about money um, yeah we can talk about that uh, another thing that's not planned savings so another kind of planned savings we have an emergency fund every month we save like 10% of our paychecks that goes into an emergency fund in the event that something happens and we can't work for a prolonged period of time. Like the last, or, yeah, like if you're stuck at home for a while or if you have to have surgery. Yes. Yes. Like fourth period, we talked about how you don't get paid when you're on maternity leave. Not a problem I have, but like Ms. Boffman, when she took off to be on maternity leave, you don't get paid paid it's not paid vacation you're just you don't get fired for not being at work some offices some jobs will pay you while you're gone but it is not the norm in America to be paid while you go home to have babies um yeah that's it for that all right next this one's important listen you have things in your budget called fixed and variable expenses. Fixed versus variable expenses. A fixed expense is predictable. For me, these are things like our car payment, our house payment, our insurance payment, those our cable bill, our TV bill, our cell phone bill, all of those things, I know how much they are going to cost every month. In the, in the, barring that they change the price on us or something happens and they go up, these are predictable bills. This is not predictable. Let, let's say it's less predictable. So fixed expenses are things like your house payment. Yes. So house payment, this is called mortgage. Your car payment. Life insurance. Life insurance payments. Insurance as a whole is pretty predictable. We know how much you take out for a year and you pay every month the same amount. Uh, my cell phone bill is predictable. I don't do anything over what I pay for every month. 
Yeah. Wait. Shh, shh, what? Car insurance is predictable. I know how much my. It doesn't change. I want to say yes. I know how much I'm going to pay in taxes every month. But I... That is... So taxes, since they're taken... Depends on who you're making a budget for. Our taxes are taken out before I even get my money. So it's not something we factor into our budget because it's already... Like before I even get my paycheck... The district already took out my taxes. So, yes and no. Uh, variable expenses. This is more like your food, gas. Um, doesn't matter. The price changes and you have no control over it. Like an uh, unexpected emergency. Which that would kind of, sort of, if you're planning really the whole picture, this unexpected emergency, hopefully you have some planned savings that will cover that. Um, like we have a separate bank account that is like our emergency fund that has enough money in it that if we both lost our jobs, we wouldn't lose our house. Like we've planned like that. Taxes are taken out before we do anything um this is an entertainment like movies people people tend to spend more money on fun things in waves throughout the year so like over the summer people spend more money on like vacations and going out and doing things because y'all out of school in august and september that really tapers off because you are in school people go back to work like there's less people out spending money but then it kind of ramps up again around the holidays because you've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. People start to spend more money. You may not, like, we haven't done, we haven't gone to see a movie since summer. And now we're like, there are all these movies we want to see. So we may start spending more money going to the movies lately than we have over the past two months that we've been in school. Yes. We, we paid off our car, but we keep paying our car by taking the money we were paying on that car and putting it in a savings account. So, yeah, that's a great idea. Yes? That's kind of, that's a good idea, that's a good question. You should, most, if you can know ahead of time that it's going to happen, that would be a one-time fixed expense. Like, it's a one-time, you knew how much it was going to be. You can kind of plan for it. Um, like, if you eat lunch in the cafeteria every day, if your parents are making a budget, they can note that's a fixed expense. They don't change the price on you. So, like, the band fee, I'm sure it's been the same for a couple of years. You could fixed expense that. Yes? Yeah. You know it's coming. You can plan. It's not like you're going to show up and they're going to be like, ah, just kidding. It's really 275, not 250. Oh, no, they're not going to do that. One, because they want you to plan ahead. No, they're not, though. Because they want you to plan ahead because they know that you don't have just infinite supplies of money. If they surprise you with how much something costs, uh, you can't pay for it. They're not, though. All right. This whole lesson, I'm just going to show you a picture, is stuff like this. This is a real life. This is not what your budget will look like when you grow up unless you use an app like Mint. Mint is an app that you can use that will make your money look like this. Yes. So the whole amount of money is all the money they have. Now, the trick with this question, you're not doing this, but the trick with this question is 22% of $5,000 
goes to mortgage payment. So you have to figure out what is 22% of 5,000. So y'all are comfortable finding percents of numbers? So I'm not going to really go over that. The trick is going to be if you change one thing, it changes everything else, sort of. Like things swing. This will always be $5,000 unless they tell you different. But if you stopped, let's say you wanted to cut out going out to eat. So you wanted this to be 10%. Well, that 3% has to go somewhere else. So another section is going to have to change. So maybe it goes into savings. Bless you. So if you take 3% away from food, that's 3% of 5,000 that you could add to savings and not spend it on fast food. Okay? That's basically it.